Hey guys, Drifter here. I've got a tutorial video for you today. There are a lot of up-and-coming commentators out there. A lot of you have bought capture cards based on my recommendations, and many, 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 many of you send me videos to watch asking for some sort of criticism or recommendation or feedback of some kind. And the number one problem that I see is with audio. Audio problems, how to record game chat, and how to balance audio. So that's what we're talking about today. We're going to go over a basic audio flow diagram, how to balance your audio, how to make your own voice sound natural, beautiful, and sexy like mine, obviously. Obviously. And then we're going to be going over how to record game chat. So for those of you that like to do the trolling videos or just record your uh, team or clan's chat, you can do that as well. Now this is a sponsored video with Elgato, so it's going to be based around the Elgato capture card. That's what I use. And like I said, I'm sponsored by them, but instead of asking for sales or anything, they only want me to make tutorials and that's right up my alley. So here we go. Oh, and the gameplay in the background is a game that I joined late. I went about as hard as I could on the other team trying to solo this domination game, but I can't win without good teammates. The very first thing that I want to talk to you about is a default audio flow diagram because it's un important to understand what the audio is doing before you start moving into changing settings and doing custom stuff like this. So let's go over a basic audio flow diagram. In the upper left hand side, this is by the default if you're using the Elgato, you'll see that you have the game sound effects, your dashboard noise, and your game chat all go into the Xbox 360. The Xbox 360 is going to send the game chat to your controller and then to your headset so you can hear it. From your headset, you'll see that your microphone goes from the speaker on the headset to the controller and back to the Xbox, but it doesn't go out. The only noise that goes out of the Xbox and into your capture card is the game chat, and that's sometimes. That's if you've got the uh, game chat on set to voice through speaker. Sometimes it doesn't. The dashboard and the game sound effects, and then it goes to your computer, and then it mixes it up. This is a very basic uh, default audio flow. That's kind of how it goes. And once it hits the Elgato, the Elgato is going to smush all of those things into one audio stream, and you can't unseparate it. That's why the color changes. And again, if you don't have voice through TV on, that game chat's not even going to be flowing through there. So do be aware of that. Sometimes you want that on, and sometimes you don't. The number one thing that people have problems with is balancing their voice with the audio. You'll get a gameplay that sounds, and warning this is going to be loud, something like this. Hey guys, Drifter here. Today we're doing Black Ops 2 In-Depth. In today's episode we're talking about something random on Domination Firing Range of Totally Studio, blah 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 blah. You probably couldn't hear me there over all of the explosions and loudness. What they forgot to do was to turn the game volume down so that your voice is loud enough to be heard over the explosions. I balance my game audio a little bit on the quiet side. Some people prefer it a little bit louder than mine, but you definitely don't want it loud and exploding like that. Some people, however, can also do the exact opposite, like this. Hey guys, Drifter here. This is the really loud Drifter on Firing Range, I mean Studio Domination, talking about stuff with AN94 while shooting people in their face holes. As you can see, that one was way, way too loud. You couldn't hear any of the game audio at all. If other people were talking, you wouldn't be able to hear them. And if you really couldn't even hear the gunshots or the explosions, it was just all voice. Very, very loud voice blaring. And that loudness, that reverberation, that loss of quality that you hear, the loss of fidelity in my voice, I call this the red bar problem. We're going to open up a side window over here. And you can use the red bars either in the Elgato software itself. That'll let you know when your microphone or your game audio is getting too loud. When it hits that red zone, it's gone over most speakers maximum capacity to make that noise so you're going to be losing quality you want to avoid that the idea is oh we're just going to max out the loudness no it's, it sounds bad when you max out the loudness you want it just barely under the loudness level so that it sounds really nice and smooth also in sony vegas it'll do the exact same thing you have little bars on the left and right that can slidey bars you can balance your audio here and it'll let you know if you watch the whole video it'll play and it'll measure your maximum decibels on the right up in the top left that's how my, top right that's how mine set up and if it goes above your maximum decibels if you start hitting red you start getting red numbers that's very bad you need to scale something down Another common mistake is having your microphone input too loud. This is very different based from computer to computer. On Windows, you can go into your audio settings, which is in the bottom right hand corner. You can click on your little speaker and go to your audio and you can balance the input there. Most editing programs or audio recording programs also have a voice balance input and so does the Elgato capture card itself. It has a balance for your voice input. If you get your voice too loud and it's gonna sound and look something like this when you import it. Hey guys, Really Loud Drifter here again. My voice should be really blaring and bumping and it should look like one fat bar. That sounded like crap, and I turned it down a little bit just so that it didn't break your ears. That's when the voice input is too loud and you're going beyond that maximum limit to record and play back. If you play it lower and you import your voice, it should look something like this. Hey guys, Drifter here. This is my perfectly normal speaking voice and the balance with the rest of the commentary. It probably sounds much, much better.
So I know I have kind of glazed over this, but this is the number one problem with commentaries. This is what you want to avoid, and it depends on your editing program. There are two ways you can do it in the Elgato. The Elgato lets you adjust your game volume by default, and the Elgato lets you adjust your voice volume by default. They have little virtual knobs you can turn up and down. Again, you want to avoid the red. You want to stay in the yellow to green zones. Those are the best. You don't want to get it too quiet either. Too quiet, you won't be heard. You just kind of have to play with it, keep rendering your videos, and get a feel for it. Every computer is different. Every set of inputs is different. Every sound card is different, so I can't give you a 100% perfect sort of solution for this, but that's how it needs to work. On the subject of quality, you should also avoid background noise. One of the more common background noises I get are fans. This is an example of what I would sound like if I did all of my commentaries underneath a fan. Hey guys, Drifter here. Welcome to Black Ops 2 In Depth. In today's episode, we're talking about this really loud fan that keeps blowing in my face and making all sorts of annoying noises. I don't know how or why it does that, but my god, it must be magic. And to think that was a little fan. I've heard much worse than that. And finally, we're at the little tutorial on how to record game chat and how to make it work. There are two challenges to this. Number one is syncing your voice to the chat so that you're not behind or ahead of everybody else. Thankfully, the Elgato input will do that for you, though you can do it your own if you want to record in a third-party program. I'm just teaching you how to do it with the default Elgato recording software here since they're sponsoring all this sort of stuff. But you're going to need an extra piece of equipment. You're also going to need either a headset like a Logitech or a Microsoft headset that you put around your head, or I would recommend an Astro headset, sometimes a Turtle Beach headset, or very, very high-end Logitech headset, something that has a mix amp so that you can use the headset like it's a gaming headset and run the USB into your computer and record like that. My particular Astro system, it has USB power and the USB power is also a microphone output and I take that and I plug that into the computer. You can see that by the microphone line there from the headset and then it also goes directly into the mix amp. What this is showing here in the Astro headset and voice through speakers, because you have to have voice through speakers on for this to work, you get your game sound, your dashboard sound, and your game chat, and the game chat's coming through the speakers on the TV, which the Xbox is playing through on the optical cable, on the HDMI cable, on the component cables, however you set it up, it's going to be sending that noise to the Elgato. It's also going to be sending your game chat to your mix amp and to your headset so you can hear it. Your headset's going to send voice to the controller and to the mix amp, and the headset, if you're plugging it into the computer via USB or perhaps a old RCA cable or if you're using an external headset that's not a mix amp that's not an Astro just something that's plugged into the PC I used to actually run akimbo headsets I used to kind of have it like diagram one and have the old like basic Xbox headset and then I would get like a regular cheapo Logitech from Walmart and just kind of lay it around my neck so that would also be recording that's an option you can go back and some of my old live streams and look at that but the headsets also going to be sending audio directly to the computer so, and the computer in this diagram is basically representing the Elgato software, the recording stuff right here. So the capture card's getting all of your audio from the Xbox, including what people are saying, and it's sending it straight to the computer, and your headset is sending straight to the computer to the software program, and the software is going to mix all of this up into one audio channel. Once it's mixed, you can't unbalance it. It's not recording different channels, different tracks, different lines. Once it's mixed, it's done. So it's important to get the balance right, but that's what's going on. On Xbox at least, I don't have a PlayStation 3, but it's very similar. There are two ways to make sure that the game audio is lower than the game chat so that the explosions don't drown out your teammates speaking. Number one is to simply go into your game options, in this case Black Ops 2, and I turn the master volume down because the game audio is different from the chat audio, and the master volume goes down, that turns down all the explosions, turns down all the gunshots, turns down all the everythings, and it leaves the chat audio relatively high. This is my preferred method of doing this, it works just fine. There is another method if you go into your preferences and you make sure again that your voice is through that you have voice through speakers on. You need to turn your game volume down to one and your chat volume up to ten. What this does is that every single time somebody says something in the chat, it automatically kind of quiets or mutants the game audio and makes their chat very, very loud. I don't like this because it gives a very disjointed, irregular kind of feel to the game audio, but some people prefer that, and that's probably the simpler method. What I typically do is I put my master volume on four, four bars. I put the voice through speakers and I'm good to go. That balances it very well. And I played with my own personal headset, which was the Astro, to kind of get a good balance there. This is something that you're going to have to do on your own. You're going to have to record videos. You're going to have to listen to them. You're going to have to do your own quality check, make sure that they're good. I wish I could give you a perfect type in this number, type in that number. It's done. But everybody has a different setup and you're going to have to go through this process on your own. But once you get it balanced, 
you're good to go. And the software will do everything for you for simple recording with game audio. There's other stuff you can do. You can record in other programs. I use Audacity sometimes. That's free to download. That's what I do most of my commentaries in. You can record uh, your voice on top of the commentary in Sony Vegas. You can do post commentary in the capture card. There's a lot of different ways to do it. But I hope that I at least got you started on the right path. I hope that I showed you some of the common flaws with commentary, some of the common audio balance problems, and I hope that you took something out of the audio balance diagrams. If you're interested in anything Elgato related, I've got a lot of links down there in the description and you can go check those out. And I've also got bigger pictures of the audio diagrams on Imager links down there if you're interested in those. Drifter out.